What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video. Before this video starts today guys, I need you to please drop a like, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. So today what we're going to be doing is changing out this pit curtain here on lane number one. So I've got the new pit curtain already built right here. As you saw in my previous upload, we built this curtain and I showed you what to look for and how to build it. We are going to install it on lane number one, but first we will have to remove the old pit curtain. This job is pretty straightforward and easy. The only tools you'll need is preferably a ratchet with a 5 16 Allen head, another Allen wrench, and a 9 16 uh, open end wrench for the shock absorber. As you can see, this pit curtain is badly worn. You can see it, it's been zip tied up here on the rod. You can also see, well, you can see it's badly ripped here. It's been repaired here by the ball exit. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of wear in it. It's probably at least about 10, 15 years old. But, um, yeah, this one actually still has the black rivets on it, which that's insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this one. So some of them are tight like this one, and it helps if you lower the table, which I think I'm gonna do in this case. So get back up and out of here on the top. Gonna let the table and sweep run so I can unhook it. Alright, so now that it's down, I'm going to unhook it, like so, let it drop, then I'm just going to let the machine cycle through. Oops, wrong switch. Okay. So now that we have the curtain dropped, I'm going to go ahead and start removing the shock absorber and this cushion block. Now I'm gonna get back in here. Um, put the Allen wrench in there. Open end wrench in here. And I'm gonna remove this nut. Usually when you do this, you check. You usually replace all the bushings in the shock absorber and you replace both the cushion blocks. But I've, I have was in, I, I did this uh, carpet recently. So when I had the curtain out for that, I replaced all that stuff so I wouldn't have to worry about it now. So it saves you a lot of trouble if you don't have to do that. But I would highly recommend checking your cushion blocks and your bushings on your shock absorber when doing this job. And if there's any wobble or wear in them, they need to be replaced. Now I'm gonna get back in here and start removing these three Allen head bolts in the frame. All right, guys. So Helps if you lift up on it a little bit. But now that I've got that removed, you'll see that the curtain is dropped. So what I'm gonna do now to get the cushion block off of there, I'm gonna push it forward, and then you'll see the other side will drop them too. I'm gonna just remove the cushion block. Throw it up on the pin deck. And just kinda throw it forward like that. I'm gonna get myself out of the machine now. Move my bolts over to the next lane. So now, to pull it out of the machine, I'm gonna pull it out the back. This is the same process pretty much for the 8270s. Pull it out like this. Kind of turn it because the wall's right here. All right. So now your old curtain, your old ugly curtain is finally out of there. 
So carry this over here, get it out of the way. So as you can see, this is the curtain that we rebuilt last week. And oh, it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold the new curtain over this way. And get it up on top here. And slide it in just like how we slid the other one out. Like so. Push it on in there. Sometimes it's pain getting it past the front roller. First of all, you gotta check the cushion blocks and make sure that, I mentioned this in one of the other videos. Get the one I've already got out. You wanna always check that, oh look, this one doesn't have one. Oh wait, yes it does. You wanna always keep up with these discs that sit in the cushion block. This prevents the um, weldment from wearing through the side and then going through the side of the machine. So you gotta make sure you keep up with this disc on each side. So what I usually do is I get the weldment lined up in the cushion block. Push it in here. Oh my god, wait a minute guys. I feel somebody behind me. What's oh that? my god, it's Chad. Alright, so I'm just showing these guys how to... Yeah. So you lift it up in the block there. Sorta. Of. If you can, sometimes it falls out on you. Chad, what are you doing out there? Alright, so now you're gonna get your block for the ball return side. Get it started on that side. So obviously this one fell out on me. Let's get that in there again. Then, if Chad will be ever so kind and hand me my tools, everything, just bring it all over. We're gonna need it all. Yep, there we go. So, we're gonna put the Allen head bolts that we took out back in on this side. Um, I like to start, when I'm reinstalling it, I like to start on the one that's closest to the pinwheel. It's just, I find it the easiest. But before you start mounting it, it helps if you take your shock absorber that you already mounted on the new weldment and push it up like that because once you get it mounted, once you get the curtain welt mounted onto the frame, you can no longer switch your shock absorber back in the upright position. And yeah, it sucks. Then you have to unbolt it or unbolt your weldment and it kind of sucks. I've done it plenty of times to know. So. Still on. Yep. It's a little heavy, that's all right. So I kind of like wrap my arm around the bottom, just hold it up like that while I'm getting the bolt started. So you go ahead and find the hole and start threading, threading your bolt like that. So you don't want to tighten these all the way yet. Just get them started in there. That way you just have something to hold it up. Then I usually do the top one next. You gotta kind of lift up on it once again. Get it started on in there. Man, what great lighting. I'm trying. No, a flashlight back. <laughs> All right. Get your ratchet once again. Oh. that one in there then grab your one for the bottom hope it lines up all right guys so basically you don't want to go crazy tight with these bolts um, that's what the cushion blocks are for to absorb the impact so they don't I've never really seen them come loose so just make them snug, don't over tighten them because if you strip them out, then you have to grind off the old nuts and then weld new ones on. And let me tell you, it's not the best job that you'll do. So once you have those tightened, kind of lever yourself out of the machine and you'll see 
that the curtain will sit kind of in there. So now it's time to bolt up your shock absorber. So I already have, a, have this shock absorber mounted to the new curtain and I just have to attach it at the top. So I'm going to just line it up up there. Uh, go ahead and stick the bolt in from this side. And then the nut goes on the opposite side. Take the Allen wrench. Ah, snug it up like that. And now your pit curtain is mounted. See, it's nice and tight like that. All right, guys. So now I've come back to the front side of the machine and we are going to hook the pit curtain onto the top. Now, when changing your pit curtain, sometimes like through different brands and um, whether it was a newer one or older one, whatever, sometimes you have to adjust where these hooks are on the bottom table rods. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna loosen up the bottom bolt here. It's a 9 16 ratchet so we're gonna loosen that right up slide it down a little bit same thing on this side does that have to be the same distance or does it take better? so yeah typically you want it to be level okay. you don't want it to be extremely loose either because that's how the curtains fall right so i'm just gonna slide it down a little bit just like that Enough to get it hooked on. So now I'm gonna go ahead, because I've already gone ahead and attached my hooks, and my cut head, hook it on there, like so. So now, after I get it hooked on there, this is obviously way too low. So I'm going to, I'm gonna slide this one up a little bit. You generally want it to line up with the bottom of the oil pan, at least, on the sweep motor. So I'm gonna slide this one up so it gets there. So that's about good right there. Lines right up with the bottom of that. So I'm gonna tight I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one down on this side. So get the Allen wrench in there. Tighten it up like so. And now for the other side, you kind of just want to make it so it's level with the other side. You can kind of just tell if you look from the front like this. You can, I usually just use the uh, sweet motor bar on the top and compare it to that. So if you look, this side is a little bit too high. So I'm going to just lower it a tad and then tighten it up. Oops. See? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright. Alright guys, that looks about good right there, so I'm gonna hopefully not hit my head again. And tighten it up. This one. So that so right there, that's so because of the rip on that side, right? Yeah. Oh, I replaced all these ones. So you can see this one was ran without it. You can see where it's starting to wear right there. Uh, off the, because off the metal, it keeps, like, it just sma keeps smacking it, all yep. Right. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. As we can see, we got that nice fresh pit curtain in there. And if you guys have any other questions, just don't hesitate to let me know, and I'll be happy to answer them. So please like, subscribe, and peace, and do it like a pro. We'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, stay tuned.